Hello, everybody, and welcome to session 12 of Data Visualization. Um, today, we're going to continue the theme that we did with the last session of looking at special applications of data visualization to specific domains. Um, last time, we looked at um, how to visualize time. Today, we're going to look at how to visualize space or geography. Um, and so, again, here, rather than throwing a whole bunch of different geoms at time like we did before where you can visualize time with lines and with bars and heat maps and all sorts of things i mean in general when you're visualizing space you're dealing with maps and so most often you're going to have the same x and y axis you're still going to have latitude and longitude but then where where the visualization happens is what geoms and what aesthetics and things that you're mapping on or that you're putting onto the map and so that's where we're going to show lots of different examples of good ways of doing that and bad ways of doing that. Um, in your readings for today, it was mostly videos from other places talking about uh, um, ways to distort maps where you have different projections and other things you need to worry about. So those are important. And um, we'll talk about some of that. Um, so if we go to the slides, um, the plan for today is we're going to talk about maps and how they connect to truth. Going back to the core theme of this course, um, where we we're trying to use data visualization to uncover deeper truths about um, things in the world and um, different social phenomena. And then we'll talk about different ways of putting data on maps. And finally, I'll introduce you briefly to the way you do all of this with R. It is very easy nowadays to do this. Um, even like three years ago, you had to install a whole bunch of strange packages um, and hope that you could get things to work right. And if you wanted to change projections, for instance, you had to use a whole bunch of different functions and sometimes manual math to, to remap things. Nowadays, there's a package called SF, which stands for simple features. Um, features is a, a term from geography that just refers to like um, geographic shapes. Um, like lines and areas and points and things like that. And so with the SF package or simple features, it is like incredibly easy to make maps. It's like two lines of code and you'll be amazed at how like really easy it is. Um, so I'll show some examples of how to do that. And then in your exercise for today, you'll get more practice making a map and putting stuff on the map. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> 